Tuesday the 8th of my daily diary and I'm back in the car. Um, I'm over halfway, three months more till I can get back in the car and actually drive it off the drive. So I have just scraped off, <laughs> it's just extraordinary, the mould that grows, the mould spores that grow um, on the seats when you don't drive a car. It's absolutely amazing. So I've just done that, but this good car has actually uh, started every time. I don't, uh, I hate sitting idling actually because environmentally it is dreadful, but I have, there's nothing else I can do. I have to do that. So, and I think related to that is of course the fear that I'm going to turn the engine and it's going to be dead. Um, but uh, so far, so good. We're three months through. So 5th of May is when I can get back into the car. So I always take things in the car. I've got uh, some work to do. I leave it running. As I say, environmentally, it's awful. But anyway, uh, for 15, 20 minutes. And it's quite a nice time to uh, not be in the music room, to be actually just... Uh, in a completely different environment um, and thinking very specifically about what I'm going to do with 15 minutes uh, as I start the, um, as I sit with the car um, engine going. Um, I, after last week and even yesterday where I think the string of, co of uh, consciousness, um, possibly incoherent for, for some, but I think uh, I'm going to encapsulate it into a um, more focused, I would say, lecture rather than sharing my diary. So this is about each of my daily um, diaries and where I am. Um, I've really been noticing that as I've been pushing the boundaries of what I can do in terms of, and you will have seen that, uh, the way I present my diaries or the way that I'm presenting the products, um, for Samic Music and using the um, editing tools that I'm slowly uh, getting comfortable with and I'm constantly pushing the boundaries of what's possible with this uh, software. It's a free, free 365 software but it's doing what I need it to do um, and I can imagine that there's going to be a point where I won't want something more sophisticated but at the moment it's doing what I'm doing and I'm pushing the boundaries of it um, for all sorts of reasons to make my lectures uh, which I'm doing online or my talks um, giving them more graphic look um, and you know for all for all the reasons all my um, I, I the, the word passion comes into my mind but my real um, intensity of feeling towards science and how we have to balance uh, the science and the rationale of the mind with the intuitive more emotional heart and how we manage those um, and I think about it in configuring my day. Um, what predictability is something that uh, really to some extent does uh, have a, a say or a play in terms of how I organize and prioritize my day. What I know in terms of uh, predictability is that still as I'm pushing the boundaries um, of how I'm presenting podcasts and vlogs um, and both from the educational sense, from the learner sense, uh, from the products of the recordings and uh, the publications, uh, it's very, very difficult to predict. Things, odd things happen like yesterday when I was uploading uh, the thumbnail for yesterday's diary and suddenly what was fine the day before uh, I couldn't upload it onto YouTube because it was too big a file. So I'm constantly dealing with these inconsistencies. So something that ostensibly should be uh, like a five minute job can turn into a half an hour job. You know, it's, it's crazy, but the unpredictability and how that unpredictability is impacting on my practice um, and learning notes. Um, I mean, looking to go into the studio perhaps late March or even early April, um, probably, possibly more likely to be April, but 
you know, that's something to be decided um, with venues and my producer and everything. But the considerations for getting notes learned is really important. Getting practice in the day, not late in the day when my brain is starting to get really woolly, um, the eating has got really chaotic and all the implications of both of those. So I've decided to sit in the car because I had to uh, start the car up. I haven't um, done that for actually nearly three weeks, which is why probably uh, the mould was growing a little bit, the spores on the chairs, um, to reconfigure my day, um, to look at the lists. I'm always trying to reorganise everything that I need to do. So what I'm going to do now, I've got lots of lists here, and uh, make it into one huge list and then from that with my highlighter so I've got my pencil case here um, I've got my uh, my notebook um, I've got huge lists I've stroked out some of them uh, but uh, there are more things that have come on so I'm going to update the list and then prioritize what I need to do I think that on uh, social media which has taken uh, a lot of a, a, a bite out of my um, out of my day as I've been learning this software um, I'm going to post later in the day I think there's all sorts of contentious kind of things of when people look um, actually in the end uh, I'm going to do it at a time obviously posting late in the evening is not helpful but I think to move the posting to perhaps towards the end of the working day so that some people at the end of their day think let's just check out um, Facebook or Instagram or on the other hand they might go home and while they're waiting for their pasta to boil up or whatever they might go on Facebook or Instagram I'm kind of thinking okay let's go let's go for let's go for that end of the day um, make it work for me it's probably not impossible for those that follow um, and just reconfigure because the practice side is really really important the learning notes this is absolutely the foundation this is where I get my fire as well this is where I get my focus um, and this is where I get my um, sense of real self and keeping uh, the practical in the center as well as the theoretical and I think this is what for me is so important to put across with the science that this is not theory this is what I'm dealing with in a practical way and if I'm not dealing with it um, in a practical way then it is just theory if that makes sense so this reconfiguring my day um, to make things uh, to make the order of how I do things make better sense and starting with however pressing everything is urgent everything is demanding my time um, and as an entrepreneur sort of a one man one woman band in, a t in terms of a very very supportive team but ultimately that I am the one that has to do many of the tasks and they all demand equal uh, they, they are all equally demanding but I have to sort of in a sense reclaim practice as the starting point and also that I know how to manage the time of practice um, I know how it works I know how long my warm-up is which is why I think you know having warm-ups uh, you know whether it's the full warm-up or whether it's a shorter warm-up um, or whether it's an even short medium warm-up or a shorter warm-up um, that we know how long it's going to take I know how long it's going to take I'll do the full warm-up today and then I'm going to devote another hour um, to uh, learning notes I know today probably the sacks won't happen when the sacks happens I'll probably do a shorter warm-up uh, yesterday I found a new E flat read which was wonderful today I know I'm gonna to have to look for another clarinet read unless an incredible thing has happened but I think it's uh, slowly starting to die so we're always having to reconfigure the day and certainly I am um, being informed by previous days and how they've gone and noticing a trend a pattern which I certainly have last week 
was just not it wasn't it was not, not an unusually busy week it was a usual busy week it's just the busyness was learning software so learning so really accepting and learning from a week and how I know I get caught up then in uh, in tasks that's what my uh, that's perhaps the um, positives and negatives of being an obsessive person that actually recognizing how it can really um, it be detrimental to practice so I'm going to do my notes um, let the car uh, which is being so good honestly it's just um, it's brilliant may it continue for the next three months uh, I'm going to make my lists and uh, reconfigure today <laughs>